Hello, I'm Jonathan with Greer Tidbits, and welcome to the second installment of Greer History Class. The year is 1970, and you're a student at Davenport Junior High School in Greer, South Carolina. You're a kid who's just going through school, but every night when you turn on the radio, you hear stories about what's happening in the nation. It's a very tumultuous time, and three assassinations of major political figures have just occurred. At the same time, the country is dealing with segregation and desegregation, and it's a very tumultuous time. It's Friday, and school's over. You head home, have a good night with your family. The next day, you meet up with some of your friends on Saturday, do some homework, and have a good time. You go to sleep, but little do you know that that night, something will happen that will change your life for many years to come. That night, late around midnight, a call comes into the Greer Fire Department saying that there's been a fire at Davenport Junior High School. The city's fire department all rushes to the scene. Community members wake up and the volunteer fire department comes in. Everybody is doing when working their hardest to get this fire out. As the fire, as you get into the morning and the fire is smoldering out, one room has been saved and that room is the records room. The community worked hard to save this room with great books and many other things in it. A few days later, the newspaper comes out and this quote comes out from a girl who is actually there at the scene. I saw a school burn last Sunday morning. And the quote goes on to say how thousands of hours of work from students were lost as the institution that taught thousands crumbled to the ground. That fire, though it might seem like a terrible theme, actually affected the founding and the new building of Greer High School. So if you or someone you know goes to Greer High School, there is a small silver lining on this story that that was key in growing the school's plan and getting the new building that it's currently hosted in. It's crazy how an old story like this seems to be forgotten so quickly, but it affected so many people in major ways. Here at the Greer Heritage Museum, we actually have the cornerstone from the school. Take a look at it right here. A very fascinating thing that it actually is still around. Such a cool story of an amazing place. And the cool thing is many people who are older and who live in Greer actually went to this school. What an amazing story. And it's amazing to see how it even affects the schooling here in Greer today. Thank you so much for listening to the second installment of Greer History Class. We'll be sure to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.